as our Rona mentioned, my name is Jonas Bergen. I work partly time as a project manager at uh, the municipality of Storuman. Uh, and the Storuman is situated at the border of Norway. It's a very small uh, municipality. We have a, a density of 1.7 inhabitants per square kilometer. Uh, we all, sometimes we, we compare ourselves with another sparsely populated area in Europe. That's the island of Crete in Greece. We have the same, almost the same shape and the same area. The difference is, is that we have 6,000 inhabitants. The Crete have 600,000 inhabitants. So when we talk about sparsely populated areas, it differ when you talk about the Scandinavian or the, the middle or the south of Europe. Uh, I will talk about the opportunities and challenges that we see in the green transition from a rural perspective and from Sturman municipal perspective at most. As Aurora mentioned, we see a lot of opportunities to be in the middle of this new area in the middle of this new labor um, area of, of uh, uh, what's becoming. We have a working model that we, that we are working with that is that the remote area can for tomorrow's society. Uh, you don't need to be big to take part in the driving of the future. Uh, often it can be quite easier to be small and quick to adopt changes than to be big. So you have an opportunity to use remote areas and rural areas for driving transition in, in quite many, many things actually. What I'm trying to, uh, what I'm going to talk about is, is how we see our success factors for building the society the green society, and perhaps how we can uh, contribute as a small part of municipality in this transition. And talk a little bit about different areas, what we are working with already and have been working with for some, some time. And also what we see for need for competences and education, and perhaps from a little bit different angle, from more uh, uh, how what competences do we need to build the new society? Not the competences needed to the tech for, for technical doing the stuff, but for building the, uh, the society that we want to build to attract new labors. If we see our assets for being a, a part in building the new, new green society, we have, we have a lot of energy and forest. We are also very good infrastructure with, with uh, a logistic node for, the, for Norland. But we also have a mountain ski resort and the nature reserve is the biggest in Europe. So in the middle of this area, Sweden, Norway, Finland, we have a, a very, very fine nature that is, is somehow quite spectacular when you see it in a European perspective. So if we start with energy for it and logistics. So we as I told, we have a lot of, of uh, uh, water power. The municipality of Storuman is the third municipality in Sweden when it comes to production of water power. We have also a lot of wind power and many, many wind power projects which are planned for, to contribute to more power to the system, which is needed in this transformation. What we have been looking for during quite a long time is to how can we be able to refine electricity and also raw forest raw material locally. We will not only be an exporter of raw material, but we can refine it locally and create labor and attract investment to the rural areas. Uh, we have also a very uh, big logistic hub. Storuman is one of three logistics hubs in the north of, of Sweden. We have Östersund, we have Storuman, and we have Gällivare. 
Uh, and it's a crossroad with uh, two European roads and a crossroad with two, two uh, railways. Uh, and today it's transporting a lot of, of wood raw materials. What we have been looking is how can we, with these assets, how can we strengthen the, our part in the transformation uh, and create something new uh, and, and perhaps take lead in some areas. So we started to, to uh, a sustainable project to look how we can combine hydropower with heavy transports. We have a lot of, of as I mentioned, projects that are planning new wind power mills, and, and we have this, uh, this logistic hub. How can we combine that and, and, uh, and make uh, hydrogen? And how can the hydrogen then uh, make the transportation system green? So we started this a couple of years ago and uh, have been formating a test region of hydrogen, uh, starting with the green forest value chain. From, how to, for, from the, uh, to when you cut down the tree and to transport it from the, from the forest, to, to the terminal and then by train to the factories down the coast. Uh, and we have taken the first step already. So we are building a hydrogen gas station. This is under construction and will be finished in 2023. And it's one of two hydrogen sta gas stations in region Westerbotten. One in Storuman and one is in Umeå. And this is one step of electrifying the, the e Torvan uh, with hydrogen and heavy transports. So during 2023, it will be in place, hydrogen station in Storuman and Umeå. And we have also been part of the Nordic battery belt logistics because this is a crucial logistic, I would say, narrow when it comes to, to transportation within the battery belt. So what we're trying to do in next step is to, to electrify the whole air Torvan and then to electrify also the Inlands Banan, who is the railway uh, railway um, in the in, inner, of the, inner of Sweden. Uh, as a small community, we can't do this as ourselves, or, or this isn't perhaps a community issue, but, but for the community, it's essential that the logistics is working. Uh, so we have uh, taken uh, all, all, all our friends uh, to, to see how can you help us with this. So we have been uh, one of the initiatives of, of creating a um, consortium of HEAL with with um, a cooperation from the Uni, Umeå Universitet, Process IT Innovation, who is uh, Luleå Tekniska Högskola, Umeå Universitet, and, and uh, the, uh, some other uh, rural municipalities also. Uh, so we started from the bottom to create cooperation for the needs, for the community needs, uh, for the municipality needs, and then we, we try to get all the help that we need to, to get the transportation structure working. And also, of course, uh, this is driven by the uh, industry. We have the whole forest industry with SCA and Holman and Svea Skog, and we have uh, all the industry uh, who is building machines, who is uh, helping the forest industry to for the green value chain of the forest, Viscania, Komatsu, and so on. And we have also railway, uh, railway companies, and we have the energy companies. So we're working together with very company-driven, but we try to put these things together on a municipality level. Uh, that's when it comes to, to uh, uh, energy and forest. Some other things that we are in our municipality, we need is transportation because it's a very long distance. Uh, and as Aurora mentioned, we are in the middle of the new labor market re region where we see that we have very, very big assets in our mountains, ski resorts, nature reserve. 
so how can we use these assets to attract neighbors from all around the world? Uh, we think that we need very, very good transportation. So, so this is accessible. Uh, you can reach this on an easy way from Moirana, from Skellefteå, from Umeå, from Vasa. Uh, we have also two assets in our municipality. That's two airports. Uh, one in Hemavan is operational, and we have been a part of the FAIR project, who is um, aiming to link east-west on uh, uh, electrical fly with electrical flight. And I think if we can get this working, then you have a, a quite good, uh, good asset in the Swedish, uh, in the mountains in Tärnaby Hemavan. Uh, as I mentioned, my first picture was actually my backyard. Uh, I've been moving back to Storuman and been working in Stockholm late. Uh, two weeks ago, I was living in Sundsvall, partly working in Storuman, but I'm now moved back to Storuman and I'm living in the mountains, but I'm working partly in Stockholm and partly, partly in Europe and partly in the municipality. And, and be able to be uh, to be able to uh, build a flexible uh, labor market. I think that's quite crucial to attract uh, people up in our region. So we are have been focusing quite hard in 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 the air in in fly in how to create the new new um, uh, flying. So we have also been in uh, with Luftfartsverket, the aviation authority in, in Sweden to see how, how do we need to change the, the legislation to be able to use the airspace in different kinds of ways. So we've been working quite a lot with electric drones in community service and see how can we use the new technology to to have good service in our municipality. But all, all, always on, uh, it's a service for, uh, for the municipality that are giving, that are driving the technical development. Uh, if we are going to have these, these um, um, flying system working, we need very cheap airports because you need many more airports. So we're also been working with Saab for, or remote airports uh, uh, and have a, a couple of projects with that. So, so essentially we, we are working with technology and trying to see if we can have this uh, technology leaps and take advantage of them to build the society. Uh, and when it comes to competence and education, uh, what has been on our mind is, is not only the, the competence of technical issues and, and how to build things, it's a comp competence for building the community. Uh, when it comes to Norrland, and especially in, in Norrlands inland, uh, we haven't built the community since the 60s. We have always uh, been with make it in smaller and smaller and smaller. So we don't have the co competence for building the community and how with new technology, how should, how could the new community look like? So, so what we are talking quite a lot about is we need to, to uh, uh, have um, competence and education for politicians, for, for um, uh, different kinds of people who, who you perhaps don't think needs competences when it comes to electrical, uh, these new uh, techniques and these new transitions. Uh, so that's, that's a short overview of what we are doing in, in uh, Storuman, the municipality of Storuman.